Now, here output cache is used for specifying that I need to maintain the total output of the web form as a cache. Duration specifies that for what period you wanted to make this cache. And we have something like vary by param which is basically used for uh, specifying uh, the following information. So let's try to exactly observe what is vary by param is going to do with. If this attribute is assigned with, okay, if this attribute is assigned with, uh, okay, if this attribute is assigned with a variable or an control, then for every unique value assigned for that control, then you can for every unique value assigned for that control, then you can every unique value assigned for that control, then an individual cache page will be created and will be maintained Okay, an individual cache page will be created and will be maintained at the server. So when you use variable param you should be careful because uh, what happens is when you try to assign uh, any particular value then automatically a cache content is created for us. For example, just to understand this thing, okay, I'd like to add a new web form now. Okay, and I just try to take a new web form. Say okay. I just go with my design. And uh, this time what I try to do was I just say something like uh, country name. I take a text box and then I would like to have a button here after the country name. <coughs> After this button, I would like to have a label. Okay, this is what uh, my intention is. Country name, text box, and this thing. For my programming convenience, what I do is the ID for this particular text box, I say txt country name. And for this particular button, I give a text called to say refresh. And we have a label which I just remove it. And the ID for this particular label I just say LBL MSG. Now what I try to do is once I have this particular details, uh, when the user is going to check out this particular thing, I want to display a message like this page is loaded in so and so country at so and so time. To do this task, I am trying to write the code in the page load. Now since I am not writing the code in the button click, what happens is the value for the country name will be entered from the second time onwards. So whatever the code I am going to write now, this code should execute not for the first time, from the second time. And hence what we do is, we take the support of page dot, is post back, I say equal to true. When we say something like page dot is post back equal to true, then what it will do is it will try to okay what it will do is it will try to execute this following code from the second time onwards and all. Now I just give a simple message saying that uh, LBL MSC dot text equal to pages loaded at txt country name dot text. In so far, I just use pages loaded in country at whatever the date time dot to I just mentioned this particular thing. I just close this. This is a very simple code that we have uh, done here. Okay. So once we have uh, done this particular task, now what I try to do was like, uh, okay, once we just completed this particular thing, now what we try to do was,
I just go to the source and uh, once I am in this particular source what I try to do here is like uh, okay I try to add the page output so output cache duration and once I just mention this particular duration then what I try to do is I say duration equal to um, I say 120 seconds vary by param earlier we were not aware of vary by param so what I did is I just specified the vary by param value as none but now we know the meaning of vary by param so what we try to do is I simply say vary by param equal to txt country name so you should not say txt country name dot text because dot text becomes a property where here you need to pass a control name or a variable so what happens this thing is when you try to send a request for every unique value again for every unique value that you are going to send that it is going to process and it will try to get your output and that output is maintained as a cache so from any part of the world if a client sends a request with a similar type of value for that client instead of processing that particular request what it will do is it will try to get you the response uh, from this particular thing okay now let me just try to make this as a start page one sec Okay, now I just make this as a start page. So it is start page. I try to execute this. I just provide some particular name, like say for example sorry country name I say India I just click on this refresh so I got a message called test page loaded in India at 815 some particular time I got it and then I say USA if you just observe now once I just click on USA and if I refresh they will find that change in the timing here for USA it has been processed and you got a new time Again I say UK, again I refresh the content. So the page has been processed and you got this thing. If any client again sends a request for India and if we just click on refresh, now it should be greater value but what happens is you can just find out a value like 81546. What is the reason for this thing means for uh, the page which was requested with India already the content has been cached and all and hence this kind of things happens now okay so that's what it is going to perform and all okay now so this is what we call it as a page output cache okay this is what we call it as a page output cache and uh, next let's try to continue further on 